Hey, it's Liz, and a long time ago, um, somebody saw an art journal page I had put up on social media and asked if I would do a flip through, and then I said I would, and then, like, didn't. So, um, I'll do so now. I want to warn you, though, that just because I have all these journals, um, there's barely any art journaling done in them. I'm not a big art journaler, um, and the reason for that is because when I first started doing it, which was years and years and years and years ago, oh, my first art journal was a delusions. Um, I was fine. I, I was using it the way I wanted to use it. It was making sense to me. And then I go on Pinterest and everything and I see these other pages and I'm like, mine don't look like that. Like, might not look anything close to as amazing and beautiful and colorful as that. You know, and then you buy the magazines, you know, <laughs> that you're leaping through while you're in line at Michael's. And you're like, oh my God, am I even art journaling? What am I doing? And I'm a fine artist. Like, people are not going to take me seriously if they see this. So there was a long time where I didn't <clears throat> really do anything. And I would kind of pick it up and kind of put it down and... Um, I'm much more embracing my style of art journaling now. Like, I have a much better understanding of what it means and how it's used. And that's a personal thing that differs from artist to artist. And yeah, some of the pages I don't like, whatever. Like, <laughs> that's okay too, right? That's part of the process. So, um, I'm not going to show you what I did in this one. A couple of years ago, I bought um, Dye's Creative Diary, right, which is right, where she's done backgrounds on one side, right, and there's like a place for planning or journaling, and I started it. I started doing it every day after work, and I would write, you know, in that little space about my day, and I would do a little bit on the right side to be creative, and I did it every day, every day, and then... Um, in June of that year, something happened that I journaled about, hoping that it would be cathartic, and it wasn't. And I, um, I couldn't go back to it because every time I opened this up, I was reminded of that. So there are a couple pages in here that are done, literally maybe five. And I decided I'm going to tear them out and, um stick them down and probably in a different journal so I don't have to see the writing on the back and then I'll <clears throat> use the rest of it for something but I don't know what yet so I'm not going to show those again because the backgrounds are done <clears throat> already they're a more simplistic type of journaling they're good for um, self-care because you're just doodling or adding or painting maybe you know so let's start with my most recent acquisition just got this. I literally just got this right around the start of the lockdown. Um, this is Dye's Jumpstart Journal. So this is the same thing. She's already done backgrounds for you on one side of the page, right? Um, I technically only done <clears throat> a few pages in this, but because this is the most recent art journaling I've done, I feel like it's the most relevant to who I am right now in this moment. Um, I've decided to make this my breakup journal. Um, even though my breakup was over a year ago, <laughs> I'm still working on it. So um, this is a collage page I did with a quote. Um, it's actually a modified quote because I couldn't fit the whole quote on there um and then i've done three pages Let's see if i can find them which are just lace cut pages um i've wanted to do <clears throat> lace cut pages try them so i did this one and i did this one which to me looks so great against the color in the background i hate I almost hate to journal on that page just because I love the way that looks. Anyway, that page, and then I did, here it is, the roses. Um, so, um, 
I'm really happy with these pages and I'll probably do a video because a couple other people have done videos on how to do lace cut pages and I watched them hoping to learn something and be inspired and I didn't find them super helpful. Um, so that's all for that one. <clears throat> Now this one, I don't know if it will fit. This is the large Dean Wakely uh, media. Um, this one is primarily like a collage journal is what it's kind of turning out to be. Not by any intention, but um, this was a collage I had started making and I didn't like the way the ink came out. Um, but I liked it enough to keep it. <clears throat> so I just stuck it in the front here. But uh, I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna have to. <laughs> okay. Uh, this is Metamorphosis. Um, Peacock. A lot of this journal is coloring pages. Okay. I don't know if you can see. jellyfish with a painting in it. <laughs> this is another coloring page. Very simple, right? I think you spend, you know, I don't even remember how much this journal is. It's not cheap. And then you just glue coloring pages. That was a fish I had done for another project. And then, um, I don't remember what happened, but clearly something happened to the tail. So he ended up in an art journal. These are just some Jelly printed tags. Um, this is cut from a jelly print. This may be the last. Nope. One more coloring page. I think that's it for the D -way. So see this again, not typical. Right? Not uh, typical art journaling. <clears throat> then I have my ugly background challenge portable one where I basically t jelly printed out some pretty bad um, things, and then I just stuck them in here, and all right, let's see what you can do with that, all right, so, this is good, because it's small, it's not so overpowering, so I've done several of these, just because, again, it's, oh, like, oh, I don't have to stress about it, and then there's some of the backgrounds that are not done, I mean, <laughs> it's pretty gross, they're just from, like, going crazy on the jelly plate. There's one. I think there's one more in here. Maybe two more in here. Maybe one more. That one. Yeah, that's it. So see? That's that whole one. And then... This is my... One of, I have two of these, but one I haven't started yet. One I've committed to it being black and white. But this has a couple pages done. This is in progress, actually, this page. I've been adding to it little by little by little over time. These are just some um, art cards that I made on a jelly plate. And then I think there might be, yeah. So here's an in progress page. And this page. And then some more in progress things. A lot of jelly printing on this one. Oh, and that's some um, from the journal where I cut the roses out. I took pieces from two of the roses and made a big. I'll put a quote there. Okay. So now let's get to the big one. This is the one I started in. 
<clears throat> this was my first one. And my goal on this one was really more about um, <clears throat> experimentation, trying different techniques, trying different materials. Um, I used to go to um, a nearby urban city um, every other weekend and uh, an artist I met there would open up her studio and let us come work there. And this is what I would bring and work on a lot of the times. Um, but this is the one that caused me to become discouraged because eventually, like I realized that I was quote, doing it wrong. Okay, I'm over that now, but you know, five years ago it was in a different place. So. Some are double pages and some are single. <laughs> this, this is just from, um, I did a um, craft show and I make little, I like steampunk Victorian hats and I made some Christmas hats and um, well, a woman that was tabling next to me, she's like, oh, you should have done like this whole Christmas in Wonderland theme, and um, I was like, oh, yeah, I missed opportunity, so then I thought, okay, well, I'll make a journal page about it. Oops. This is a very typical, a lot of people have done a page like that. This, I feel like problem with these is, you know, each, like, the, the pages bleed onto each other, and I'm not in love with that. Lean enough. Put my video game. These pages have been added to so many times, because I just hated it and hated it. I still don't like it, but I can tolerate it now. It's, um... The quotes and it says it didn't much matter which way she put it and this one says her disappointment was killing her why wouldn't it end so pretty brutal I mean you could, it's pretty obvious what I'm journaling about on that one <laughs> this is my attempt to recreate a painting in the that was hanging in a um documentary a Netflix documentary and I did it and I went back and I watched it and it was like not even close <laughs> but what else this was um, originally an attempt to recreate something I saw on Pinterest and then it was nothing like I mean it, no <laughs> like there was no resemblance and so I wrote a poem and I just stuck the poem on and I know I cover up when I go to turn the page on this was the first time I jelly printed on tissue paper and then collaged it down. I thought I had some great success. Just straight up journaling. Here is the first time I did a color page in an art journal. That page took so long to color. <laughs> and I used Sharpie, which actually go really fast. We're coming near the end here, I'm pretty sure. I don't know if you can see that page too well, but yes, this, is this the last page? No, um, I just made this page. It says, isolation binging, first month at home. <laughs> so I read four books. I binged the entire series of one, two, three, four, five TV shows, um, watched all of the videos on three YouTube channels, um, and then that just lists some games I was playing. But clearly 
Hopefully I have too much time on my hand. Yeah, and here's the coding page again. I bought this, um, this what? And it has some pretty okay coloring pages and some pretty lame ones. But he's from that. And I feel like I feel like I did one in Dina's collection. Maybe not. Because I don't remember seeing it. Huh. I know I colored more than that horse. <laughs> was leftover drips or something and I think I just put like gesso or something on top and I was like oh I made a background by accident but yeah so there you go I don't <laughs> I don't know how particularly inspiring that is but someone asked for it so there you go. Those are my unfinished, in progress, journals. <laughs>